Some of those worried about safety are signing up for classes and learning how to defend themselves. Channel 2's Blake Essig went out to a local shooting range. And Blake, what did you find out? Well, hey, Victoria, earlier this evening I did go out uh, to the field training portion of a CCW class. That's certification for carrying a concealed weapon. Now, around 19 people gathered in the freezing cold to practice. And organizers tell us they booked out fast. After recent shootings nationally and rising crime rates here in Alaska, organizers say self-defense is front of mind for many people. Again, today about 19 people came out to complete their CCW certification. With the break-ins, the robberies, the car thefts, you know, people find themselves, you know, not really prepared for what could happen if it goes sideways. <laughs> Barbara Hopkins from Eagle River agrees, saying the criminal element seems bolder. She hopes she never has to fire a weapon, but as a beginner, she wants to be prepared if that moment comes. Because I've never fired a weapon before, this is an excellent class, and they're very patient and understanding with me since, you know, I'm having a hard time loading my magazine. <laughs> Although anyone with a clean record is allowed to carry a weapon, they may want some additional training to operate them safely, and that's where classes like this come into play. People often will do impulsive buys, uh, panic buys as we call it, not thinking about, do I actually know how to handle this firearm? Am I prepared in the worst case situation? Should someone come knocking on my door, can I safely and effectively operate this in a defensive situation? Uh, Henry says his business saw a surge of people signing up around 2015 from individuals to companies wanting specialized classes for their employees. Uh, but it's not just operating firearms. Henry says the course involves hours of theory, teaching the use of deadly force, situational awareness, and not making yourself a target. Now, the organizers of today's event say that they're not advising that everyone should go out and buy a gun. Instead, they say everyone should have a plan in mind if they find themselves in a vulnerable situation with a potential attacker.